Hey guys and welcome to Nicola Chan's EMDR update. Today we did um, the safe place. So before you actually have your EMDR processing sessions, you have to be able to have a safe place, i.e. you can find somewhere in your mind that keeps you calm and focused on something positive so that you can bring yourself back if you basically feel traumatized, i.e. Next week, we're ripping the plaster off, basically. We're processing one or some of the memories. They have one category. There's lots of memories within that, but there's one category. So we're dealing with one of the things that I want to deal with from the past, which will give me the desired outcome for the future and things that are that I'm struggling with in the present because of past trauma. That's what we're going through. I keep looking this way because it's the light's in my eyes, isn't it? Um, so yeah, we use the, the dot that goes across the screen like this so that your eyes can do the, the movement. And there's also a butterfly technique. So you have your hands like this, your thumbs on your collarbone, and your fingers on the side, and you gently, very slowly, the same sort of speed as the dot would be. You can get that sensation of the left side and the right side of the brain. Um, so you keep very much like NLP, actually, because with NLP, we use submodalities and they are what you see, hear, feel, taste, touch, like all of your experiences in a moment. So you can go back to a memory and if it's a positive one, you can enhance those feelings, make the lights brighter, make the smell stronger, make the sounds louder. And essentially, we're doing that as well with, with a positive place, but it's a place that isn't real. It's not a memory I've had. It's a place that I go to for my own meditation. And it's a place that I go to alone. You're not allowed to have anybody else there because that can mess up your emotions. You can get um, connected to the other people and their emotions. So you have to have a safe place that is for you, that you've created in your mind's eye. And you use this tool with the left and right to make it really, really strong so that when they rip off the plaster, you've spent a whole week practicing the safe place that you're anchored to that state, basically, so that every therapy session, although the plaster is ripped off, you'll be able to self-soothe. So anything that happens during the week, you'll be able to sort yourself out. So I'm excited. She's given me a shopping list of things to get. I guess this is because if I dissociate, if I lose touch with my body which is what can happen when you're when you're a young age and you experience trauma you can dissociate because it's too much emotions for you to experience at the time so when we go back to time so when we go back to times when I was younger if I start dissociating we've got these tools to bring me back to the present so some of them are um, like dog toys a squeaky dog toy so the sound could bring me back or a clicky pen um, she told me to have some sweets to suck on and a candle with some scent. So it's obviously using your senses again, very much like NLP. I'm really excited. Today was a really nice session. I feel calm and relaxed because my special place makes me calm and relaxed. So nothing to worry about there. I look forward to sharing with you what happens on week two. Bye for now.